Breaking on that, what about Kevin's performance Saturday? Yeah, it's good. You know, he's continued to be very consistent and uh, playing at a at a real high level. Um, really has a good understanding, and it's just uh, just lo I love. I complimented him during the week uh, just how hard he practices, and it's uh, I'm throwing the pass rush one on one tape and the pass rush, and that becomes mundane to a lot of players. It's very um, uh, natural, unfortunately. Uh, for guys to kind of go through the motions at practice, and um, and those players usually spin their wheels in the mud, and uh, uh, but the really really good ones, they know one way to work, and uh, they got an attitude and they got a purpose with what they're doing, and uh, Kevin is rapidly uh, continuing to develop uh, himself because of that high effort. And then he does, he goes to team and does that, and then he goes to inside and does that, and then we go to. Uh, scout work and he does that so um, you know uh, uh, but most guys don't and uh, but the, the ones that really play at a high level do and uh, and then some play at a high level uh, you know a little bit inconsistent and if they would if they would buy into that concept they could be great players unfortunately some of those guys think they're great already and uh, that's not just here but at anywhere and uh, uh, you know the you know to me you know Greatness is an, is an exception, and uh, it's, a, it's a term that's too often loosely used. And uh, but he'll have a chance to be a great player here if he continues to work like he does. I can't I can't compliment him enough. It's fun to watch, and it's different. Uh, he's in a very small group of guys over there doing that. So it sounds like you kind of anticipated then, Dog kind of building up to a, a big time Hoped. performance. Like you know, it's like golly, what I'm seeing. Usually that translates to, to good play. And uh, so just had the fingers crossed and uh, and, it, and it has. So uh, Marion's done a terrific job and, uh, as well as Kevin has at, uh, you know, buying in and staying positive and, and uh, watching those guys in front of them and uh, maximizing this window instead of pounding them and sticking his his lip out and uh, and then not really being ready for the opportunity, although he's inherited the opportunity, uh, and then he's a guy, but he's really there by default. You know, no, you can't say that about him. Now he's earned that, and uh, but uh, some guys are where they're at by default. And uh, when a guy that's you know uh, that's a good player comes along, that guy ain't gonna be there anymore. So he's a guy that's earned every bit and then some uh, of the opportunity that he has and. He's been more than ready for it, so it's pleasing to see. Uh, I'm proud of. Him. You guys have been able to really mangle the line of scrimmage with the second, third level against a team like this. You got to flow side to side. Do you kind of restrain that a little bit, or do you, do you more so let guys? Flip well, I think there's like different that? technique involved. Uh, you can't just spike the gaps. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta have good <laughs> force angles, and the footwork is, uh, it's got to be incredibly precise. Um, for obvious reasons, you know, we need players from backside to be cutback players front side. And uh, so if you're in constant downhill mode or if you're false stepping two steps up the field and it's a fast flow play away, you're done and you've eliminated yourself from the play. So same thing, you know, the margin for error is less, you know, as you put your hand in the dirt closer to the ball you get. And, and we got to have those guys stay on their feet. You know, we've been blessed to have uh, Grady and Deshaun and Josh, those guys inside. Uh, you know, these past few years that um, had great quickness to them and, and great stability and leverage. And, uh, you know, you look at a guy like Grady, obviously, and we, we talk about all the time, but, uh, you know, his skill set with a, a team like this was, uh, you know, his, his leverage, his pad level. He, he likes to play over bent knees and uh, really hard uh, to knock off of his feet as well as uh, Sean. And so uh, for us to be successful, that'll be kind of a battle within the battle. You won't typically see him getting blown off as much as you just getting tied up just enough and then losing leverage on that gap. And that dive just cuts back on you and gets five, you know, gets eight. And, uh, uh, you know, we'll get murdered if, if that's the case, you know, too often. How proud does that make you the success of those, those guys are having right now at the, at the NFL level? Um, oh, oh, yeah, I don't get to see it very much, but I hear about it a lot. I mean. You're always happy for those guys. Your, your dog in the fight is them being successful, and, and uh, uh, you know it's not necessarily gratifying or those types of things. You're 
you're proud of them because you know what that means to them, their careers, their future, uh, their families, those types of things. So, uh, you know, uh, proud that we're in that paw and, and they're going to the NFL and, and doing great things. And, and usually that's a credit to uh, both their ability and uh, their readiness and, and certainly how they're working now that they're there. So, uh, you know, that's neat to see. With the struggles your defense had in the fourth quarter, is there a need to rotate guy, more guys in or have better stamina? All of it. Yep. Coach Sweeney kind of touched on the, uh, the Beaver Award this morning. Um, what kind of prize? Who won it? The, yeah. Who won it? Oh my God. Who? Hammond. Hammond did? Yeah. yeah. Cool. And, uh, what kind of prize did the, uh, the players take in winning that award or trying to win that award? <laughs> you know, I don't know. What's the Beaver Award? <laughs> I know what the Beaver Award. I just should know. I'm watching the first takeaway of the game. I mean, that's huge. That's obviously, it's, uh, it's <laughs> that was awesome for. I mean, what a great play and uh, and a huge play in the game. I'm not sure. I mean, we didn't get many points off of turnovers, right? Seven, 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 seven and that was it. Yeah. And uh, and was that to go up 21 yep. uh, to three? So huge play in the game and uh, great for him. Uh, I wish it was a cover guy on the kickoff, to be very honest with you. And uh, when when I see him closing on that hole there during the game, and I, I was really, quite frankly, mad. I'm like, he got to the kicker. And uh, it's usually not a good thing. And, and uh, so that's a first for me. So it was awesome. Did you get four with the tackle, you think? I'm sorry? How would, how would you rate his tackle? Put the, ball on the, on the, uh, put the hat on the ball. Yeah. So uh, it all counts. So. But uh, yeah, it's a good job for him.